Hey guys, this is a skier task guide for long road. For this task, you have to eliminate 15 scavs along the main road on Lighthouse. So this is an example of a loadout that I ran while I was doing the task myself. This wipe, this DVL with the 500 millimeter barrel is one of the quietest guns in the game, so it can definitely keep you off of the enemy's radar while making it difficult for them to pinpoint your location while you are trying to focus on scavs. Also, you can run any armor and rig or tack rig combo that you do want to use. It's totally up to you and whatever you have lying around in your stash. It basically comes down to how passive that you do want to play once you get into the location where we will be killing the scavs you will also notice that i do have a red flare here as well as a pilgrim backpack and these are used for a similar effect which you will see soon enough and i also will tend to bring the one slot in particular food and drink items just depending upon how much space i have and what rig that i am running for myself i did use to focus on just the one slaughters because i tended to do this run naked most of the time the swipe so here's a map of Lighthouse in this rectangle I have marked shows the section where you do have to kill scavs for them to count towards this task. I did reference the Tarkov wiki and they do confirm that the map is accurate and that you do have a bit of leeway off of the road to actually kill scavs and for them to still count. So the area where my PMC will be starting is on the road just next to construction and then I'll be moving up and showing you guys a spot that's just down below the pizza shack that's next to the large resort. So I'm here on the main road just next to construction. So this is Pride Rock. Just to my left is where the resort area is and to the left of that is where the Pizza Hut is. Now you can use the Pizza Hut as a reference as we will be going down to the single pine tree that is just down below it and to the left. There is a little ledge there where you can be quite hidden and is actually a good place for you to chill throughout the raid while you are waiting for the scavs to spawn on the road for this task. So once you go up this ledge and just take a right, you're gonna go in through this pine tree and I tend to go on the left side of the pine tree just so that I stay right up against the rock face which will provide you with more cover. Uh, on your backside as you are looking down this right side towards the water treatment plant and then as you can see you do also have a good line of sight down the left side of the road as well so i figured i would show you guys how to get into the spot if you are approaching it from the top so this is pride rock this is the resort area and then here on my left is what the pizza shack looks like when you are up here on the top part so if you just run up the sandbags jump on top of them then over top of the fence look over top of this hill and you will see a lone pine tree and then this is what you are aiming for so just scale down the hill and then you are going to be at the location where you are going to be sitting for majority of the raid Another benefit to this spot while doing this task is that you can pretty inconspicuously check the top of Pride Rock. And as you can see here with the rangefinder, every location up at the top there is greater than 100 meters. So you can actually get your shooter board in heaven kills if you see a PMC wander up there. And typically they will not be looking down in this area. So you could get an easy headshot. And then another tactic that I did kind of brush on earlier is that using the red flare or some noticeable backpack such as a pilgrim or I use a trooper in this video. And then you just kind of leave it out in the road somewhere either up or further down the road. In this video, I left it greater than 100 meters again for the shooter born in heaven reason because you never know a PMC could come along and then try to check it out or player scavs especially will be lured to a large backpack and oftentimes will try to pick it up. Now, one negative of this location is that you are vulnerable to people looking your way from the Marin car location. So when I am not looking up and down the roads, then typically I will sit looking towards that area. So my last bit of advice is just to remain patient while doing this task because these scav spawns on the road are very inconsistent from game to game. I have had eight scav spawn in in one single raid and then the next two I've had zero while I waited around for 30 minutes. So there never really seemed to be a rhyme or reason to it. So just make sure that you do bring in your food and water and be aware that you can extract a path to shoreline, which is relatively close if you ever do run into any issues. And you guys can also do this task passively while moving from one side of Lighthouse to the other. I've just never had luck actually having scavs spawn on the road while I'm moving through the area that will count for the task. Or like everybody else, you can go up on top of Pride Rock. However, I've also not had luck with that. And it seems like every time I get up on top of Pride Rock, then I have four different snipers staring up on top of there. So hopefully you guys found this guide useful and did help you to complete this task. What you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily to either ask me questions regarding Tarkov in general or to potentially get some extra help on your tasks that you're unable to complete or even just to get some raids in just for fun. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week so if you do want to connect with me that would probably be the easiest place to do so. And if you do happen to come over to Twitch and if you want to join the Discord then just type exclamation point cord or Discord in the chat and then you will get a link invite in that way or if you don't use Twitch, then I do have the Discord link posted here in this image. We do have a welcoming community that will be able to help you guys with any questions that you may have, or they're always looking to play with new players. And we have been playing with a bunch of my YouTube subscribers. So as always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and have a fantastic rest of your day.